The marine organism we're going to identify now is the peppermint goby. The peppermint goby is one of the small cleaning gobies that one will often see perched on the top of a coral head. It's one of the easiest to identify since, unlike many of its brethren, it's not black with light-colored stripes. The peppermint goby is a bright yellow-gold color, and if you look closely, you'll see a brilliant blue wash over its snout. In addition, some may have red or greenish markings behind their eye and on the front part of their bodies. Their bodies are translucent. They range in size from a quarter of an inch to an inch and a quarter, so they are very tiny fish. Peppermint gobies are found in all parts of the tropical waters of Florida, the Bahamas, and the Caribbean but their relative abundance varies from location to location. When you find one, it'll usually be by itself on a coral head without other peppermint gobies around. However, it may occupy the same coral head as other cleaner gobies, such as the shark nose and cleaning goby, both of which are black with white, blue, or yellow stripes running along the sides of their bodies. Peppermint gobies can be seen on coral heads in the depth range of 40 to 130 feet. Peppermint gobies feed on the external parasites that are found on other fish. Larger fish will swim over the coral head where the goby lives and hover motionlessly while the peppermint goby swims over the larger fish's body, picking off the parasites. Some fish, such as Creole wrasses, will assume a head-down position while on a cleaning station, while others, such as the barjack and barracuda, will darken considerably while being cleaned. Peppermint gobies are protogenous hermaphrodites. This means that all fish start out life as females and turn into males as they mature. Eggs are fertilized externally by the males after the females have laid them in a nest they create near their coral head residence. The peppermint gobies then protect the nest from predators until the eggs hatch. That's the peppermint goby.